Okay, for the next attempt. Same deal, we're going to start. This time we have Arcanotron first. You see, he does his Arcane Annihilator all the time, but it doesn't do very much damage at all. It is interruptible, but the cast time is so short um, that it's very difficult. But you see, it does, you know, about, um, what is it like, 25% to half the person's health when it hits? Nothing you can't heal through. But if you get that Arcane Conversion built up, he um, becomes obscenely powerful. So I'm just getting over here and getting ready for my uh, my next guy since I've got 100 Rage. I also like to put, if, I don't know if I, I don't think I commented on this earlier, but I like to put my uh, my Warrior debuffs, Thunderclap and, and um, Sunder Armor and Demo Shout on the first boss just to help out. Okay, he's doing his power conversion again, and uh, I'm just putting a Raid Warning to DPS on Magmatron in case someone missed it. I like having Magmatron in a corner because it means that about half of his fire is not going to hit anyone. There we go. So there's his flamethrower. He's going to target uh, a DPS, but he didn't do squat to him, so that's fine. If you're a healer and you have a preventive damage, like a power red shield, uh, I mean, that's so perfect. That gives you tons of warning to um, click on the person who's being targeted. You can always click on the boss and then hit F, maybe send him as your focus or something, then hit F and... Um, or whatever your hotkey is for target of target, and uh, then put a power word shield on him. Okay, there's his barrier. Um, the way his barrier works, a little different than the other ones, he absorbs 300,000 damage, and if it uh, succeeds in absorbing 300,000 damage, it explodes and does 75k damage to everyone, which is um, pretty much a wipe. So Magmatron's safe now to attack. Um, the barriers are a very short duration, by the way, so really there's no excuse. How we're doing here? About 23 million. Not bad, not bad. I feel very confident we can beat this. This is not. Um, oh, yeah, there's a 51k. Wow, jeez. Uh, I feel very confident that we can beat this. This is not like Vela Straws. Um, back in the day, I remember our guild trying to do Veil, and oh my god, that was a wipe fest. Um, it was it was much harder than this. This is obviously not even close, but it was just fun uh, getting to do a new raid encounter that I knew nothing about, going in blind. It was a lot of fun. So anyway, there's some more slimes. I always like to send a raid warning out when the slimes come, just in case someone misses it. But as you see, if you do a good job of killing the slimes, there's no poison pool. You definitely don't want that poison pool to come out, because not only does it blow up and deal 100k damage, but uh, people are usually standing in it, and that's not good. Okay... You just put a lightning con conductor on the healer. It's obnoxious how the druid's efflorescence thing, the uh, or whatever it's called, the uh, AOE there looks a lot like a poison poison pool. It's um, I'd always do a double take whenever I see that. Slimes again. You see, he does this very frequently. On the plus side, while he's casting, he's not attacking the tank, so that gives the healers a break. It also gives the DPS a long time to adjust to it and get ready for it. There's a poison cloud. I really should put uh, the boss in the poison cloud. Unfortunately, we lost a healer here, and this was going so great until we lost this healer. This would have been, this probably would have been a kill, honestly. It went, it was going very, very smoothly, but a healer uh, got blown up by a slime. Um, make sure you kite them. If you're, if you're not killing them, make sure you kite them. They're not tauntable, by the way. In case you're wondering why I'm not taunting them. Keeping Magmatron away from the group is a really big help because of that AoE. It just makes it much easier to dodge. Alright, there comes this big laser beam slash flamethrower. As you can see from the uh, recount, I uh, cleared it out a couple wipes ago. Um, the Warlock is still doing the most, but the Feral Druid is doing extremely well. Um, Feral Druid has got a huge buff in their damage recently. And um, I did some DPS testing last week, preparing for my DPS rundown series, and uh, Feral Druids are doing awful. So I'm glad to see that they've been, they've been significantly buffed. They're actually very effective now. Yeah, but that's it for that wipe. And for our next attempt, we're of course going to start with Okinotron, as you can see. Go ahead and pull him, and then I'll get my debuffs on there. If you're curious about that radio eye, it's the new default radio eye. It's not an add-on or anything. The only add-on I'm running is a recount. I really wish Blizzard would put their own recount in. 
uh, with a lot of new features because there's a lot of stuff that recount doesn't do that it needs to. Uh, but I've heard of SCADA damaged meters, I just haven't tried it, so I don't know if they're better. Or SCADA, I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, uh, Toxic Guy is Toxitron is being uh, prepared. He'll be spawning in about uh, about five seconds here. Yeah, the uh, Druid died right off the bat here. That was due to uh, getting hit by Arcane Annihilator twice in a row for half his damage each time. Um, I think that was just unlucky. Uh, that really shouldn't normally happen. Because the power conversion hadn't happened yet. It's just happening now. So I'm not really sure how, uh, how the Druid took that much damage. I guess that's just how the fight is. Okay, so the slimes are spawning. As you can see, a couple of them... Um, hit somebody and exploded, that's not good. But uh, fortunately it wasn't. Uh, it didn't kill whoever it hit. I think it was a healer that it hit. And uh, thankfully it didn't kill him. Uh, but the DPS killed the other one, so that's good. There's that poison cloud. You do want to get him in the poison cloud as you see there. He's got the debuff now. Uh, if you look in the top right of your screen you'll see that there's a whirlpool and there's some DPS and I think a healer standing in it. It doesn't last very long, but if you're while you're in it, it's totally awesome. So make sure you stand in that. Just don't let the bosses stand in it. Here comes the slime. Okay, the slime got a hit in, but he didn't get a kill. That's good. The other two are out, and they're getting DPS. So uh, the range DPS are definitely doing a good job of picking those up. I'm not sure if there's a way to slow them. It seems like there should be, shouldn't there? Well, we didn't we didn't have enough attempts to be able to discover whether or not uh, whether or not you could slow them, but I imagine uh, a frost trap or something or whatever they call it now. I think they changed the name to ice trap would do that. So I was a little slow with this pickup here, and um, I had a brain fart. I just for some reason I thought it was his guy that was despawning, even though I had mine selected and, and it showed who's despawning. It's just uh, just a mental mistake on my part. But anyway, I did pick him up before he killed the healer, so um, that's good at least. So he's doing another flamethrower. Uh, definitely want to stay out of that. So as you can see, the abilities here are not too diverse. It, it seems like a lot. But the thing is, because uh, you only have two of the four bosses up at once, you only have half the abilities to contend with at once. And most of the abilities are pretty minor. Uh, as long as you don't hit the barrier, you don't have to deal with their probably their, their most serious abilities. All you have to do is not stand in the bad stuff. And range DPS kill the slimes. Everyone else kite the slimes. And um, Ah, what else? Don't don't stand in the fire. I covered that one. Uh, okay, there's the barrier coming up. Now, um, I guess you, well, he he's probably not going to take any threat if he absorbs the damage, is he? So yeah, I, I definitely didn't attack during that. Now, uh, it looked like he did his blast wave. It looked like somebody broke the barrier um, visually, and I noticed that there are a lot of dead people now. So that may have been what killed them, though I didn't I couldn't tell because it, it didn't matter because rating's over anyway. Um, they uh, close it at four o'clock Pacific. The server I'm on is uh, Central Time Zone, so that's why it says 6 o'clock, but it's actually 4 o'clock Pacific. Alright, and that was our last attempt, unfortunately, and uh, my ghost is bugged. If you're not in the beta, one of the great, great bugs right now is that when you sometimes when you die, your ghost does not get a um, griffin. And of course, the portal here is like halfway up Black Rock Mountain, so there's no way to get to it, like most portals. And uh, if you get unlucky and get a bugged ghost, you are stranded. But I'm going to get rezzed. Yeah, so sorry about the anticlimactic ending. If you were hoping for a kill, it didn't happen. Not with my group, anyway. But we did very good. I was very happy with uh, with the progress. And if this was a guild run, I would have been uh, very happy with the guild mates and everybody for figuring out the abilities, reacting pretty well to them, and making only a couple mistakes, uh, nothing major. I just wanted to see what killed uh, killed this guy. Uh, he got a spirit res, and then he got or a, or a, a battle res, and then he got blown up by a poison like half a second later. <laughs> Yep, and there's no more boss. They have despawned. So that was fun. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed uh, this walkthrough. Now, I'm also going to put a, uh, a list of all of the different abilities for each boss in the description of the video and also on wowcataclysm-wiki.com, link in description. Um, there's going to be that. It's going to be coming up this evening. Um, so if you need text to refer your guildmates to while you're attempting this, whether you're attempting it in the beta or if you're watching this in the future and you're trying this out uh, after live, that should be cool. And if, if you're watching this in the future, can you tell me who wins the World Series? Because I want to bet on that. So for my final thoughts, um, is it easy? Well, if the devs are going for like Nax Remus easy, then uh, no, it's not easy enough. But I don't think they are. I think they want their opening raids to be a little more challenging than Nax, um, judging by how difficult heroics are and such. 
So I feel that the difficulty is very appropriate. I think it's very well balanced. Well, we kept getting them to about half consistently before something went wrong. I mean, this is really just a watch your ass fight. Don't stand in the wrong place, don't attack the wrong boss, stuff like that. It's not really a DPS race or even a healing race. Um, the actual amount, amount of damage being done in the raid is very little, and the tanks aren't taking much damage either. People are only taking damage because they make a mistake. So I really feel like um, this is a very well-balanced and not at all difficult, not overly difficult boss. It's appropriately difficult. Um, the only suggestion I'd, I'd suggest, uh, I'm, I guess for Arcanotron, maybe they should tweak the AI so it doesn't hit uh, the same person twice with Arcane Annihilator. Uh, because of that druid getting nuked so fast, that, that probably shouldn't happen. So they should probably need some kind of protection against that happening. That's about it. Uh, everything else is fine. I like the, the mechanic with the, the whirlpool and the poison cloud. Um, I like the different barriers. I like the not standing in the fire. That's always a classic. So, yeah, uh, I'm real happy with this, and I wish we could have tested it for more than three hours. Uh, we actually... I, I got about an hour and a half of filming in there, and... Um, because it took a little while to get a raid going. I guess people were squeamish about trying it out. Because there weren't that many people looking. It was kind of strange. But, um, but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, please comment, and please subscribe.